Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dan. I'm here with Charles, and we are back for our NBC match this week. Uh, we are up against the Raymond Reggie Steel, and they've got a pretty interesting team. Um, no Reggie Steel. Uh, so that's most of what we prepped for. But I think we've got a pretty interesting team ourselves this week. Uh, I like a lot of what we're about to try and do. Uh, I say we lead Incineroar and Trevenant Charles, and then we just start Forest Cursing and then Expert Belt Flare Blitzing their entire team. I'm down. <laughs> I mean, we could also do it with Mew, which might be better, but I like the Fake Out ability if they go for a Trick Room lead. And then in the back, uh, I'm not going to bring Swampert, Klefki. and I think you leave Klefki, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay. Okay, so it's Instant Trev lead, and then... I'll bring Mew and Delibird. Okay, and I got Zapdos, me, and Show with yeah. Trev. Checks out to me. Great. Okay, if they go for a Trick Room lead, uh, Phil's player one, I think we fake out the Reuniclus if they go for a Trick Room lead with the Blastoise, because we're max speed, there's a good chance we're actually faster than their Blastoise, which they might not expect. If they've got a max speed Blastoise and they get the fake out on us, then they'll get Trick Room up, but they'll also have like... Yeah, so the Blastoise could max here. Uh, okay. Sableye makes this interesting. Let's see if this Blastoise is White Herb. Walk on, okay. Cool. It could be a supportive set. Um... Yeah, but... It's in their max slot. I think they just go for like a rain dance here and. Okay. So what's our counterplay to that? Uh, you've got wood hammer, right? I do. I mean, you can probably just wood hammer and I can swap in. I really don't want to just lose Ensign here. Um, but I only have Mew and Delibird. I mean, I guess I could put in Delibird. What do you think? That's probably the best option, I think. I'm okay with just sacking the Delibird. Yeah, I am too. And I'll Woodhammer the Blastoise. Yeah, that checks out. Okay. Also, if he fakes out the Incent, then the Rocky Helmet Chip will burn yep. the Sash. Perfect. Just like we drew it up. <laughs> max boss choice, yep. Okay. So, our Max Zapdos is going to look really good at some point. Yeah, I think if, depending on how much this wood hammer does, it might be in range even through. Uh, Wakan. Yeah. Well, um, we'll get two off. Yeah, we'll get another one of those off. Big damage. Uh, what's this going through? Foul play? I think we live this. Oh, yeah. We live that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does that mean... Oh, this is good for us. Uh, do we live this? I. Okay, we that's don't good that, that we don't. Now we get Zapdos and we can proc our weakness balls. Oh, wait, yeah, we can't max. You're not max this uh, turn. Uh, okay, I mean, here's what you do. You just put in Zapdos and protect. Okay. I mean, wait, what do you have in the back? I have Zapdos, me, and Shao. I mean, I think you just put in Zapdos and protect, right? You got protect on Zapdos? Yes, the, yep, protect on Zapdos. Yeah. Because I, also, they could just go not. for a Hailstorm into that slot. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, let's do it. And then we, if they hailstorm that slot, we can airstream the Blastoise slot. It should have made that static. Oh well. That's fine. Um, uh, I think we just double protect here, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you got protect, use it. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. And hopefully, Delibird can take this. I mean, even if it can't, I mean, what's it gonna, what's he gonna go for? Max Geyser or Max Hydro or whatever into Delibird? This is fine. 
Yeah, I'm just worried that a cannonade with the chip will. Yeah, okay, so yeah, here's the cannonade. This might kill Belly Bird, you're right, but. But we're fine with this if it happens. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's fine. We take that. Alright, we'll okay. take this around. The question is, because now we got a max and we're not at a lot of health, does a max... Let me see how much a max... Airstream does. No, not how much a max Airstream does, although also that, but how much would a Zapdos' max... Uh... I mean, a Blastoise's max... Yeah, because it could wash us. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, max ice beam off of a modest blastoise shouldn't kill at that range. So, shouldn't. Not yeah. Airstream, I think, is the play because although Max Thunder kills. Uh, wait, what side is the main metric on? It's on the Sableye side. I think his play is always switching main metric there, and at plus two. Airstream actually probably does kill, so let's Ice Shard the Zapdos and... Airstream, okay. This Ice Shard, does it put us into Ice Beam range? Maybe, but we're gonna... Okay. Gotta oh, live on I'm the up. edge. Yeah, I'm clicking the yeah. Airstream. Yes! Let's go. Okay. Let's go. This is, this is a... This is dead. Hopefully. There's a world where it's bulky enough that it's not dead, but it's probably dead. can hope. And then we have speed advantage. Let's go, Deli Bird. Let's go, Santa. Santa. Santa giving him gifts. Santa. Santa. Great. All nice. right. Okay. The gift of a dead turtle. We love it. I just gotta figure out what are we doing with this deli bird? Because oh yeah, I've still got Incident and Mew in the back. Oh man, Mew's gonna be so good here. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, I think we can leave deli bird in and the, just get a free switch. The yeah. yeah. Solve the, the cannonade. I like that. Okay, let's see. Uh, do you just want to like go hard into that Entei slot? Kind of. Because he could. Or let's see. Let's see if this is. Uh, what can Manectric do here if it's got Thunder, for example? Ah, uh, if it's got Thunder, unless it's got a boosting nature. We're probably fine. Actually, I am okay with going into this Entei because looking at the other side, the other side's way more supportive. Yeah, so I think Hopefully we, we air, just... airstream yeah. the Entei and I I'll agree. launch a freeze dry into the Manectric just to get some chip. Yeah. So I don't think that, we double yeah. the Entei here. Yeah, I like that. Just in case if Entei protects. Yeah. Oh, great. That yeah, should be a dead yeah. Entei. Dead. Nice. And then Thunder shouldn't kill here. Uh, I assume he has Thunder. Unless he's like Specs or Life Orb. This will actually do a decent chunk too. That, that, oh yeah, we'll live. Nope, that's... Unless it's Specs. Yeah, I think that <laughs> might be Specs. Oh, uh, you know what? That's fine though. Zapdos has done its job. Yeah, what else do we have on that side? We have me and Xiao. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, go right into it. Okay, because this is the only thing he's going to have left on the right. Is this Bulu. That's ideal. Because we outspeed that with Mew and can KO it. So, yeah, hear me out. There's potentially a speed tie between 
the main metric and the Mian Chao, right? But we right. know it specs. Does wait? What do they have on that side? It could switch into Sableye, so knockoff probably still kills, right? Uh, probably. Uh, let me let me check that. Oh wait, it might not be specs. I might have been looking at that Calcone. Uh. Okay, so we Icy Wind and knock off the Magnetric side, I believe. I'm okay with that, I think. Because, well, what do you have for the Bulu? I don't think you have anything that hits Bulu. No. Yeah, so we Icy Wind and knock off Magnetric. Okay. Because that covers for a Sableye switch in. Which looks like we got like it. That. Yep, okay. Yep. The Bulu protects. No. And now... Oh, this probably KO's Sableye. Yeah, this will KO the Sableye. And now we've got the speed advantage on the Boogaloo with Ensign. Great. Awesome. Yeah, we live this too. Because we're Focus Ash. Oh, no, wait, no we don't. We got Cannonade. Never mind. Oh, is that still going? I think this is, yeah, I think it's got this last turn. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's not the best position, but we're not dead completely. Okay, so I'm out. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, so uh, I, I think just we lost send in connection, but that's fine. I'm the only one who needs it here. Let's go with Insin, I think. Yeah, I think I go with Insin and I'll get him to. Dang it. Is, am I putting in Insin or am I putting in Mew? I didn't actually think this through. I think that's where we were. Yeah, this is where we were. Okay. Um, uh, I think I put in the Ensign, and I actually think we Flare Blitz the Bulu, right? Instead of knockoff, and then we go for the knockoff next turn. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah. Unless because... we want to call... Actually, so yeah, we definitely put in the Ensign. Let's start there. Yeah. Yeah, because I think Mew can late game as long as Bulu's gone. Yeah. Hmm. The Bulu hasn't real reveal protect, has it? No, it hasn't. So in theory, that should just be a KO. I mean, unless it does just protect, but... Um, yeah, we could knock off the Reuniclus, because that's a KO into either thing on that side. Um, uh, I mean, yeah. Um, the Manectric, I mean, but this it's, it's Mew expensive. is not great into, yeah, because the Mew is not great into the Reuniclus. So actually, I think we Oops. knock off into the Reuniclus slot. Okay, I think that's fair. Yeah, and like the, the Bill is intimidated too, so I'm not worried yeah. about damage on that side. Yeah. Yeah, that'll definitely kill the Reuniclus. Oh, it might be banded. Because there's no way it only has Horn Leash right now. Yeah, I think it's a safe bet. Okay, but we did KO the Reuniclus, right? Yeah, we KO'd the Reuniclus. Uh, okay, okay. Well, shoot, don't we just go for the KO? Wouldn't On it? the main <sighs> trick? Or do we KO the Boogaloo? Uh, let's see. Let's say it is Specs main trick, right? Because I'm not 100% sure of that anymore. But if we've got main trick versus Mew, and they do have choice Specs, for example, Mew is still winning. It is, okay. 
So I think we go I for Kaowin to the Bulu. Okay. Yeah, I, I say go for the Bulu. Yeah, if this main actor can kill us before we can kill the Bulu, fair play to them. But we, fa we flare blitz the Bulu here. It cannot. Oh no, we're paralyzed. Oh, and the, the Bulu got the speed because we got parried. Well, and it that's... killed the Ensign. Okay. okay. We lose to a Thunderbolt. Well, we don't necessarily lose to a Thunderbolt para. Because oh. we've still got Mew. And this Bulu's going to be at minus one. Oh, that's so bad, though. Okay. Um, uh, we have to kill the main. We have to kill the main trick. I think. Yeah, I agree. We kind of just have to have hope that ice actually no one shot. It, it can't is the problem. But so we kill the main trick and go for a crit. Uh, or wait, go for. A I freeze. think we we stall out. We stall out grassy terrain first. Okay. And then this main actor could also just be faster than us. Man, that para sucks. Yeah. We win if there's no para there, but we lose with that para. Probably. Unless okay. we have to beat the main actor. So yeah, we definitely attack and do it. Yeah. Uh, what's gonna do more to the main actor? One sec. Uh, looks like Earth Power does slightly more. Yeah. I mean, they're both gonna kill, but Earth Power is safer. See, if it's not max speed main metric, we got a shot here. Like, it's modest. It's modest! Okay, so main metric's down. See how much this Horn Leech does. I mean, it's a Mew. It's pretty bulky. Yeah, it should do... If it does half... It doesn't do half. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it's intimidated. Oh my god, that's right. Okay. Uh. Yes, okay. We just double ice, ice beam. beam. Yeah. Let's yeah, double, double ice, ice beam. beam it. Ice beam doesn't do half either. Is it AV? It might be. Oh, yeah, and then it just heals up with that Horn Leech. Uh, we need... I mean, what's our life orb damage looking at? I mean... Like... No, the only thing is we need a freeze. That's basically it. They got the pair, we need the freeze. Okay, well, that's that. <laughs> that's the play. <laughs> We did not get it. That's good. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, that's tough. <laughs> oh, well. Thanks for the assist, Matt. Yep, no problem. All right. I'll get this edited and posted. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll be back next week with another NBC match. Until later, ne next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.